the four most common webinar mistakes and how to avoid them. If this is your first time hosting a webinar, or you are relatively new to hosting them, you are probably going to make mistakes. This is just a fact of life when you are starting anything new. Fortunately, there are some pretty common webinar mistakes that you can avoid if you know what they are and how to sidestep around them. This presentation will delve into the pitfalls of webinars and help you correct or avoid these mistakes to present the best webinar possible. Mistake number one, not doing a dress rehearsal. If you want to have a successful webinar, you are going to need to do a dress rehearsal. Not only do you want to hone your presentation to perfection, you also need to work out the bugs and kinks you will undoubtedly have. Whenever you are doing something with cameras and microphones and streaming video, you are going to have a few technical problems while you figure out how to use the platform. Make sure that you do at least one, and possibly two, dress rehearsals. Mistake number two, not promoting early enough or often enough. People are forgetful, and they aren't going to remember that they signed up for your webinar unless you remind them. Most people don't remind soon enough or nearly often enough, likely because they think by doing so that they will risk the person removing themselves from the mailing list. But if you want attendees, you need to remind them, and remind them often in the latter stages, the two or three weeks before your webinar. Mistake number three, not providing information attendees can act on. Mistake number three is presenting information that is just that, information. You need to present information that your attendees can actually take action with. They should have a clear picture of how to proceed as soon as they are finished getting the information. Mistake number four, not being engaging. Finally, the fourth mistake that people make is that their webinar is dry, boring, and not at all engaging. If you want people to remember your webinar and come back for more later on, or if you want them to sign up for a product or service that you are selling, then you need to engage them in your presentation. This is where practice comes in, and you should video yourself so that you can see how you look to others. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.